Hey Edgewater kids people, I miss getting to hang out with you, I miss getting to sing songs with you, but we still get to talk about Jesus at home together, and today that's what I want to do. I've been spending a lot of time in the book of Genesis this week, coming up with things for the kids wing that we can do when we get back together, and one of the stories that always sticks out to me in Genesis is the story of Joseph. It's the story of this kid with his family, everything is going good, everything is going the way he wants, and one day, he, by an evil act of his brothers, he gets sold into slavery, and then once he's a slave, he gets put in prison for years and years and years. It seems like there's just so much wasted time, where he can't do the things he wanted to do, where all the stuff that was good was taken away from him. It's crazy. It's a weird time. Everything good seems to have gone bad for Joseph. But here's what we know happened. That Joseph, <clears throat> after he was a slave, after he was put in prison, he was put in a position where he was able to help Pharaoh, the king of the entire land where he was at, with a really big problem. And because he was in that position to help Pharaoh with his big problem, God put Joseph in the right spot where he needed to be in order to save everybody's life. Joseph was able to do something that no one else could do. And now everybody would have food. Everybody would be provided for. Everything was going to be okay. So guys, in this season where everything seems a little bit crazy, where we aren't getting to do the things that we want to do, when it just seems like all the time that we'd rather spend doing something else we have to spend at home, it feels like we're a slave, it feels like we're in prison. What we have to remember is God has got a plan. And it's a really good plan. It's better than any plans that you could possibly have for yourself or for your own family or for your church <clears throat> or anything. God's plans are so much better than your plans or my plans. So guys, this week, here's something we can do. Instead of being discouraged, instead of being frustrated, instead of being upset that we don't get to do the things that we used to do, we don't get to participate in the things that we used to participate in, we can use this time to the fullest and look forward to when we get to hang out together again. But while we're doing this, we could be praying, we could be spending time in God's word, we could be memorizing scripture, we can be encouraging our parents or our siblings or our neighbors at a safe distance of 6 to 12 feet. Whatever that God puts in front of you to be obedient to him and you can do that today and still show God's love to each other. So guys, this week, spend time with Jesus. Pray, read your Bible, Memorize scripture and know that even when things seem dark and out of control and things seem to be going wrong, God is really working a plan, a better plan than you could ever, ever imagine. God is in control. He's working a plan. He knows who you are and he loves you so much. So God bless you guys. I can't wait to hang out with you again.